Do, do, do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is Whip Wednesday. Recorded on Wednesday because yesterday was busy. I like to record them ahead of time so you guys can get them earlier in the day, but at least I'm recording. So here we are. Oh, I'm going to dismiss my next alarm. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's Whip Wednesday. As you can see, I have hung this up. I'm still, I just barely did it and I'm still adjusting. I do have a light switch here. So that's kind of, I'm like, mm, can't really do much and still have access to it. It's not a perfect hanging. I'll have to figure out what I need to do. Get my daughter up here to help me figure out how to get it better than this because how does it get better than that? It is really fun to have that back there and in the background. I hope it's not too distracting for y'all. Um, today, things that have started. Okay, I have started a project I'm not gonna show you today, but if you come back for Things We're Making Thursday, it will be in Things We're Making Thursday because it's for that. So come back tomorrow to see what I started. Um, so, I haven't got bags for a couple of my things. It's in a sack from Hobby Lobby. Worry about the yarn for I was like, oh, I'll just leave it in here. So this is what I've started. It is a bowl cozy, it's supposed to be cow. Cow bowl cozy. So it's held two together. I did not realize that when I started it. So I'm hoping I have enough yarn. So this is white cotton yarn. Um, and it's kind of on hold for a minute because the person I'm making it for is out of town and I want to make sure that we have the right size, that it's the right dimension and that I'm going to make it the right height. But she's out of town so she cannot check. Um, I do have, this is the cotton I used. I have black and I have white and then I'm just going to use have some pink mainstays cotton I'll use for the cow nose. But this is Yarn Bee Fundamental Cotton and this one's the color black, the other's the color white. I don't have my glasses on, so if it's too small, I can't read it. Uh, 3.52 ounces, 164 yards. Um, so, that's what I can tell you because there's no way right now I can read this, but it is, um, it is 100% cotton. I don't know. If I put that up there, can I zoom in and will it be clear to read? I'm not sure. Anyway, there's that. And like I said, the other one's white. That is a cow cozy that I'm making for a friend. Um, I have been working on my tithing blanket. I got halfway around the final border on Sunday. I'm not pulling that out mostly because I kind of want to keep it a secret until I'm finished. So if all goes as planned, I will finish that on Sunday and be able to show that to you guys in project or, you know, finish Friday, things like that next week. So that's that. Um, I did finish a couple of things this week, so you have to come back Friday or Monday to see what those are. Um, Friday is finished Friday, Monday is Creative Expressions, which is kind of the conglomerate of everything. Um, so I've been working on my little hooded scarf thing, but I don't know that you can even tell I've made progress. You know, I, I mean, it's a little bit wider, but can you tell that it's wider? I don't know. Um... I've done another row of decreases since you were here last. I know that since I showed it last. I'm not sure how many stitches are. I'm gonna count them. Two, four, six. Okay, I'm around 80 stitches on each side. And so that's 160 um, purl stitches, then 160 knit stitches to make it grow a little bit. So I can see why it's just not, I mean, it's, it takes me a bit to get across. This isn't my favorite project to work on either, at least not yet, because it's just like, and it's not like I can just take it with me in the car. I mean, I could, 
but I don't like stopping in the middle of a space. Um, I mean, it's doable, but I just don't like it. So it doesn't get as much love as it could because I feel like I have to sit down and like work a lot on it, but it is fun. This is my alpaca. It, as you can tell, it's a little bit on the thin side, but I'm excited about it because it's a one way alpaca. And even though it's kind of thin, it will make a warm scarf. Alpaca has some, it's like got, I'm trying to word, think how to word it. It's like the, the hairs are hollow. So it's insulated because like the air gets trapped one way or another. Um, that's how alpaca insulation works. Um, whereas lanolin, the main, sorry, lanolin, wool, one of the main features that make wool wool warm is the fact that it has lanolin in it and that lanolin kind of prevents cold air or hot air moving back and forth. Um, I think it's pretty funny. A lot of people are like, wool, 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 great for winter, don't wear it in the summer. But I will tell you, there is a video that I found very fascinating and the person what they did was they went out in the middle of the nose um, a Nevada afternoon and um, it was super hot and they were paying attention one was wearing silk I think one was wearing cotton and one was wearing wool and they were wearing like period dresses and they were pretty cool they, they felt the sun on their face because um, they didn't carry parasols or anything like that. But otherwise, in the middle of the heat, they were feeling cold. They went out in the next day wearing jeans, shorts, t-shirts, tank tops, our regular summer attire that we think of what people wear. Um, and they were they were super hot. And, and there's just something about the natural fibers. We think of them as breathable, but they're also... Um, help to kind of act as a barrier so just like um, wool doesn't let the cold air in it actually doesn't let the hot air in either and that's part of why wool is actually really nice in the summertime um, it's a little probably better if you wear white lighter weight wool but I don't know I don't wear wool I'm allergic anyway I thought that was interesting and I think it's interesting to think about uh, I'm kind of hoping that um, alpaca does the same because I really do want to make myself a pair of alpaca socks eventually that one became too frustrating so now it's changed projects but I still do want to eventually wait make a pair of alpaca socks maybe more than one if I like it all right and after that little crazy rant let's move on to my little tiny socks let's see how they're coming along I am I talked about this a little bit how I can stop between socks one of the reasons I like these is because I work 16 stitches and then I can stop I did not get a chance to pick these back up and continue them so they're stopped between um, socks and that's cool <sighs> it looks like there are this, is, this would finish the round for each of these. So my little pink one, it's looking great. Um, it's got the eyelet holes. I need, let's see, one, two, three, four. I just finished the fourth set. When I finish six sets, I do the heel. And because these three are in the same place, this makes it super easy for me to know where to do the heel on the other two because I will do, do the heel in the same place. Um, so here's this one. And the seed section ended up looking very unique. It doesn't really look like watermelon seeds at all. It just looks like a spotted um, stripe. So that's kind of fun. Um, here's the other side. It's got that little white bit there, which is just funny and random. And then um, here is this one that and that's how that pattern is it's just kind of this little fun um, polka dot it's also kind of in a little triangle pattern I think I did somehow did it wrong maybe they're supposed to be pearl stops stitches with 
I don't know. It's still cute and fun. That's what matters. So that's that one. It's got a fun little texture to it. And so, like I said, I've got, what, eight more rounds to do. Eight and a half on these two. Um, and then I'll start the heels, and that's exciting. So, um, I will put, of course, the pattern to this. Um, I can put a, pit or a link to the pattern for the cow cozy um, and everything else is things I'm coming up with on my own so I can't show you that and then the last thing is my St. Patrick's Day shawl St. Patrick's Day is Sunday I don't know if I can get myself to get it far enough to wear or not um, I am kind of putting a lot of things on hold so that I can, because this is how far I am, that would not make for a very great shawl. Um, I do know, my plan is right now, so I ended up with kind of a few holy sections and then one stripe of hole and then I did two and one and then I'm doing two here. When I get it out past um, a special thing I'm going to do on the shoulders, I'm thinking I'm just going to continue making it holy and airy and just have it a slightly more solid section to through the shoulder area. That's kind of my current plan. So, and I'm just making this up as I go, guys. It may end up horrible. It may end up great. I don't know. I will, and we'll just see. Sometimes I frog us because I'm like, mm, I don't like how that's turning. I don't like how it's, I'm not really counting anything. So if it doesn't seem to be, um, if it seems to be too roughly, I undo it. If it seems to be not roughly enough, I undo it until I get it to where it just kind of does each, sec each section fairly flat. So once I've got this section figured out, the rest just follows pattern and it's fine. So I only ever have to undo this little section, but eventually that little section is going to be pretty big. So I don't know where this is. This is working out. This is going. So that's my progress. And that is what I have to show you guys today. Remember to come back tomorrow for things we're making Thursday and Friday for finished Friday to see what I finished. And Mondays are usually creative expressions. And then, of course, I have some other fun videos like mystery yarn challenges, unboxings, things like that that show up once in a while. And that's pretty fun. Anyway, remember, I'll put this one back out. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!